Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily embed a standard content in modern pages in SharePoint Online by using the embed web part. For doing this demonstration, first thing I'm going to do is just to create a modern page in my SharePoint Online site. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just to add here the embed web part. Here we go. As soon as you add uh, the embed web part, uh, you are prompted in the settings panel just to type directly the uh, external content uh, address you want to add in the web part. This can be a YouTube video or any video that is in other platforms such as Vimeo and so on. Or uh, you can also add external content using the, uh, the iframe tag. So for instance, uh, let's add first a YouTube video. So for doing that, I'm going to connect to YouTube. Um, we are going to grab any Office 365 video. So I'm going to search for Office 365. Here we go. And uh, yeah, for instance, we can add this video. It's fine. I'm going to stop him. Just copy the URL of the video. And then we can paste here. And we are done. I mean. Since this is a YouTube video, the embed web part is directly able to uh, show the video in a web modern web path in a modern SharePoint Online page. The other thing I can do, as I said before, is just to add another web part. So another embed web part. And in this time, what I'm going to do is just to uh, add an external URL. So first thing is just, uh, for instance, um, think on an external URL you want to add such as bing.com, sorry, bing.com, sorry for my Spanish. One important thing here is that um, uh, any URL you add in the embed, con in the embed web part uh, should be accessible by means of uh, HTTPS. This is very important, otherwise it's not going to work. So I can uh, grab the URL and I can copy, and then what I can do here is just uh, to type the iframe tag, I'm going to specify that the source of the iframe is this Bing search. And then we can type a width and a height. And then just close it. Yeah, and it's working. So as you can see here, it's a uh, mm, the embed web part is just doing what uh, I asked to do. It's just showing this, in this case, an external page uh, in my modern SharePoint Online page. This is working for Bing.com, but uh, you must uh, know that uh, this is not going to work uh, for any URL you want to add here. Why I'm saying that? Because um, there is some configuration steps uh, that you need to follow in case you want to add a specific URL that is not very common. Um, um, I will explain what I mean in a minute. So let's think we are finished. So we can type a name for the page. Yes, this is the embed content demo page. And we can uh, just prove this. In this case, I'm submitting for approval, but it's fine. I'm not going to approve the page. So it's OK. Everything is working as expected. So uh, as I'm saying, if you want to add uh, a URL of external content that is not let's say, common content, you need to do some configuration. So you need to go to the site settings page. So go to a site information. And then in the site information panel, just click on view site settings. Here we go. And then you have to look for a special configuration option in the site collection administration. That is the HTML field security. And you guess correctly. This is just a setting that allows you to specify which domains uh, you want to support when embedding content in a modern SharePoint Online page and also in a classic one. So as you can see here, by default, SharePoint Online adds some uh, very common domains such as YouTube, such as Vimeo, such as Bing, obviously office.microsoft.com, uh, SkyDrive, Power BI, Sway, Docs.com, Docs.com, sorry, and many other. But for instance, uh, if you need to add uh, your custom URLs, such as, let's say, uh, let's go for instance, uh, for any newspaper uh, we have um, in the U in the US, for instance, uh, the um, Washington Post, the Washington Post, sorry, is one that came just to that came to my mind, 
Okay, this is the URL. As you can see here, uh, okay, because now, uh, yeah, I agree, continue, not a problem. As you can see here, uh, I'm uh, meeting the basic requirement that uh, is that this website is accessible by using HTTPS, so it's fine. So I can graph the URL. And I'm going to show you in a minute uh, why I'm doing that. I'm going to open um, the same site and the same page I was doing for the demo. I was using for the demo, sorry. Uh, just a minute because, yeah, here you go. And then I'm going to go to, uh, to the same contents page so I can browse uh, the demo page I created some minutes ago. So, yeah, as soon as I can access to the site contents page option in the settings menu, here we go. I can click on site pages. <clears throat> and I can click on, uh, yeah, the embed content demo. Here we go, demo. I can edit the page again. And I'm going to add a new embed content web part. So just below the web part uh, showing the bin search, I'm adding a new embed content web part and I can paste this URL. So what is going to happen here? First of all, yeah, uh, is uh, this error message is telling me that uh, this URL doesn't support Directly, um, doesn't support embedding directly using an address, so I need to decorate this with an iframe. It's fine, it's not a problem. And again, I need to set up the width and height properties. And see what happened, yeah. As you can see here, in this case, the message has just changed. Basically, now it's telling me, okay, now you can embed uh, this external content because you are using an iframe, but uh, it's not going to be displayed in this uh, embed web part because you need an administrator, uh, administrator to do something for you. That is actually to allow this domain uh, in the HTML field security setting. So this is what we are going to do now. So uh, just go back to this tab this one and uh, what i'm going to do is just yeah up here the domain relative to the washington post okay let's do in a proper way this way now now it's working here we go and then click ok it's just to save the changes yeah we are fine so let's try again and paste again the same URL. Yeah, now this time it's working. And as you can see here, um, we are embedding the Washington Post uh, newspaper preferably in the, in the embed content web part. And it's also uh, beautiful embedded because as you can see, uh, as you was seeing, we have um, some uh, yeah, responsive behavior thanks to the web page and, it's the, and indeed we are having and it's working perfectly. So, as uh, just a quick summary of the, what we have done, uh, we have, a, a, sorry, we can embed any kind of content in uh, modern pages and cell online using the embed, uh, uh, the embed web part. Uh, for some external content, uh, we can just uh, conf uh, configure the web part by adding directly the uh, external content URL, such as a YouTube video. For others, such as a newspaper, uh, we need to use the iframe. And it may happen that uh, for some external URLs, we need to uh, uh, do additional settings as an admin administrator of the site uh, by, uh, yeah, by adding the domain of the external content in the HTML field security setting. And that's all. I hope you have found this video interesting. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.